I think students or residents should consider a career in cardiothoracic surgery because I think there are very few jobs that offer the level of job satisfaction that our job uh, has. Uh, we're able to take care of patients performing life-saving operations on a daily basis. Um, the impact that we have on our patients' lives is profound and I don't know that there's anything more satisfying within medicine or even outside of medicine. Well, the, the thing that we love about cardiothoracic surgery and why a student should choose to go into our field is a wide variety of things that we get to do. We wear so many different hats. Um, you know, on the one hand, I'm, I'm a surgeon. I operate on patients, but I also see them in clinic and take care of them on the floor. I, I get to teach medical students. Um, and, and then I'm, I spend time in the lab doing uh, research. Um, you know, lung cancer and esophageal cancer, there's, there's a lot of work to be done. And it's exciting to, to see all the changes that are being made every day. We are uh, teaching our residents uh, catheter-based skills. We're also re retraining our workforce in catheter-based skills so that we're doing things that are less invasive, more attuned to what a cardiologist might do, but we're working with cardiologists to do sort of maximally but minimally invasive procedures like catheter-based uh, aortic valve replacement, catheter-based mitral valve repair and replacement, which is exciting. I think one of the exciting things about cardiothoracic surgery is we are constantly exposed to new technology, new ways of doing things. These days we don't do many big operations through big incisions. We're doing minimally invasive procedures much more commonly. All new technology. It's, it's a terrific opportunity. When you are a patient who's facing a diagnosis of lung cancer, for instance, that can be extremely scary. So my job then is to really be a navigator and a liaison to walk you through the process of laying out the options, synthesizing all the information that we have available to us to really um, come up with the best plan of how to proceed from there. And it's really a partnership. You're entering into a contract with that patient that says, these are the things that you have, this is what I recommend, and this is how I think that I can help see you through to the other side. So it's a, it's a, it's a bond that you establish, and that starts outside of the operating room. Uh, not a day goes by where you don't receive some sort of card or letter in the mail from somebody that you treated maybe many years ago, and, and it's sort of a, a touching thank you that says, you know, thank you for fixing, you know, my husband or me. Uh, you know, five years ago, you took part of my lung out, and I'm still alive, and we're very grateful. It's a cool job. It, it really is. It blends um, a lot of physiology, cardiopulmonary physiology, uh, with uh, uh, eye-hand coordination, technical skill, uh, a lot of people interaction, and uh, when you're successful, which fortunately these days you are the vast majority of the time, uh, uh, a lot of feel-good moments that uh, 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 make your life worthwhile.